Hello everybody. My name is Young Junda, and today I'm going to tell you, I'm going to introduce about one of famous architecture style called Rococo. First, I'm going to tell you about major geography location and a little bit about background. And second, I'll tell you about major architects, and then I'll tell you a key feature of the style. Finally, I'm going to tell you about the major characteristic and the any motto. Uh, if you have any question, feel free to ask me, and I'm, I'll be glad to answer that after my any motto. Uh, first, I'm going to begin with where it when it started and major geographic location. It was started in France at, after late Baroque at 18th century and it spread to European country like Germany, Australia, Russia, Eastern Europe um, and other European country but it didn't popular at the United Kingdom and second I'll tell you about major architects major architects Susangshi Royal Palace in Germany and College National uh, Palace at Brutkar and Kessoli Palace in Russia and Belvender Palace in Austria. Now I'm going to tell you about the key features of the style. Before I'm going to tell you about the key features of the style of Rococo, I'll tell you about the where the Rococo words came from. Uh, uh, Rococo words came from the word at the French. Uh, Rococo that the, it comes from Rococo it means the stone and Coquillas that means shell. So Rococo means stone and shells. And now I'm going to tell you about the features. Uh, they, uh, the ornaments are very important in Rococo. They really work hard on the ornaments. And the ornaments look like uh, shells and plants. And they work hard on details like uh, curves and scrolls. And they complicated patterns and delicated details and light and pastel colors and they are complex and deep symmetry shapes and then finally I'm going to tell you about the major characteristic uh, it was led by the aristocratic not by the royal, royal culture so it represents luxurious and elegant and playful and flickness charm from the aristocratic and also it represents smooth and internal uh, fascination of fashionable society and they pursue erotic and cozy and mellow and uh, in Rococo, uh, Rococo style was between the Baroque and the uh, classic and and now I'm going to show you about the Animoto. In conclusion, uh, I introduced about the Rococo style. I hope you guys enjoyed the, my presentation and interest in the Rococo style. And if you have any question, I'll be glad to answer that. Uh, if you have any question, thank you.